the Orange Bowl. We said goodbye to Oklahoma, relax to enjoy a wonderful trip to Miami, Florida, and the Orange Bowl. We were traveling in our own chartered Pullman. Some of us even made use of a baggage car for an old-fashioned jam session. When we arrived in Hollywood, Florida, a local band, pretty girls, and plenty of welcome signs greeted us at the station. Hollywood is just a few miles from Miami and the Orange Bowl. Buses took us to our hotel. This would be our home for the next four days. It was still winter in Oklahoma, but not here in Florida. The weather was perfect. We headed for our first practice. With a police escort, we went to a field not far from the hotel for a real workout. Our work was cut out for us. We knew what we had to do. Every note had to be played perfectly, nothing less. So practice we did, and we played as we had never played before. We worked out our formations until every step, every beat was executed with precision. Our show would be seen by more than 76,000 fans in the Orange Bowl, and millions of fans all over the country would watch us on TV. It was hot. Yes, hot in December in Florida, but we worked hard. Formation after formation began to smooth out, polished, perfected. This was the big show, the climax of the year for us. A hard, hot practice, but an afternoon at our hotel swimming pool made a difference. Swimming and sunbathing in December. That was something to write home about. Wait till mom hears about this. And of course, appearance is always important. We had plenty of fun at the pool that afternoon. That evening, in a beautiful open-air band shell, we played a concert before an audience of over 4,000 people. King Orange Parade with some beautiful floats, really extravagant, and pretty girls, some real beauty. It was a wonderful parade. Biscayne Boulevard, right in downtown Miami. 
there were people everywhere. hard to believe. We were marching right in the middle of this spectacular parade. We were proud, all right. Yes, proud to represent our great state of school in the open air of a bright sunny morning in Florida, right in a band shell. One of our future ministers. Some of us had never heard of Gulfstream Park Racecourse, but when we saw the beautiful grounds, it was terrific. We even got to see some horses working out on the track. And then we saw a famous Oklahoma-owned horse. The racehorse who won the Kentucky Derby, Needles. The Atlantic Ocean. A new experience for most of us, and we just loved it. The water was great, a little challenging for some, Even our director got wet. Of course, we had to play in the sand. But some got a little too much sand. All in fun, a perfect day at the beach. Just wait until the folks back home hear about this. The day of the game. We were on our way to the Orange Bowl. A sense of excitement filled the air. We all had a big feeling, really big, because today was the day. Today is the day of the Orange Bowl Classic. The University of Oklahoma and the University of Maryland would play in the Orange Bowl. President of the University of Oklahoma, Dr. George L. Cross, his family and guests were here. This was the top bowl game of the nation. The bowl was packed. This was the Orange Bowl, and we were marching in it. There were over 76,000 people in the stands today, and more than 25 million would see the game over television. And we were part of it. We 
Maryland had plenty of confidence in Oklahoma, but Maryland did have us a little worried. This big, strong Maryland team continues to stop the Sooners this afternoon. Oklahoma has the ball, but they can't seem to break that Maryland line. Both teams are playing the game hard. And the score at the end of the first half, Maryland 6, Oklahoma nothing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. For your halftime entertainment, the University of Oklahoma proudly presents its 135-piece marching band, the Pride of Oklahoma. In recognition of the holiday season, the OU band salutes Christmas toys and recalls the childhood dreams which they stimulate with its presentation of Toyland Capers. Every boy dreams of being a locomotive engineer. As he operates his toy train with plenty of help from Dad, he pretends to be Casey Jones. quickly forgotten when his parents give him his first rocking horse. Now he is a hard riding drunk buster and he rides the plains to the tune of Pony Boy. being a cowboy becomes even more vivid when he's equipped with a genuine cowboy suit. As a full-grown cowboy, he spins his lariat, doffs his hat, and sings the state song, Oklahoma. things of children and generals, princes and kings. The OU band demonstrates its version of the parade of the wooden soldiers. iron take the field. The band salutes the University of Oklahoma and the Big Red football team.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen the 135 members of the University of Oklahoma's marching band, the pride of Oklahoma. The show was over. We did our best, and we hope they liked it. Now we could relax and enjoy the rest of the colorful halftime activities. Then Oklahoma started to drive for a touchdown. Our team was on the march. Harris gives to McDonald over left tackle and Tommy moves down to the four where he stopped. Harris moves to the right, pitches back to McDonald. McDonald cracks over the left side and into the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> Pies are kicking for the Sooners and the kick is good. Oklahoma leads in this ball game seven to six over Maryland. Coach Bud Wilkinson didn't relax, though. A one-point lead isn't much in a game like this one, but we had faith in our team. The handoff goes to Dodd over left tackle, and he moves all the way down to the two where he's finally stopped. O'Neill moves to the right, pitches out to Clinton Thomas, who smashes into the right side of the line and picks up about a yard. O'Neill with the ball into the middle of the line for the touchdown. <laughs> Sooners try for the extra point. The kick is good. Oklahoma leads 14 to 6. Five minutes remaining in this game, and Maryland has the ball. Bechtall fades back to pass. It's intercepted by Carl Dowd on the 18. He's going all the way. A beautiful 82-yard touchdown run puts Oklahoma ahead 20 to 6. The final score in this Orange Bowl Classic, Oklahoma 20, Maryland 6. The trip home went fast. We didn't want to leave Miami, but our job there was completed. We were bringing a victory back to Oklahoma with us, and we were just plain proud. Oklahoma looked good to us. No mistaking where we came from, plenty of signs of Florida. Home again to Oklahoma, but with memories we'd hold a long, long time. Memories of a wonderful trip to the Orange Bowl. Oklahoma.